Everything has to come to an end at some point, even the universe. Fortunately, the end of the universe will happen long after us humans disappear from the face of the Earth, but that hasn't stopped physicists from speculating on how the end of the universe will actually go down. We've narrowed things down to a few different theories, so, but today I'll go with the most finally accepted, heat death. Now before we get into what the end of everything will be, I would appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Okay, so since the universe's fate is not tied to that of the solar system, I'll skip that part. Maybe I'll go that over that in a future video. Now, there's something you need to understand. There's a limited amount of everything in the universe. This includes the stuff that makes stars form, huge clouds of hydrogen and helium gas. Over time, as stars form and live their lives, that supply is slowly being depleted, and eventually, no more stars will be able to form. This is predicted to happen in about 100 trillion years. But since red dwarfs, the longest lived star tribe, live for a good fraction of that, starlight won't completely vanish until about 120 trillion years from now. This marks the beginning of the degenerate era of the universe, and during this period, the universe will be littered with stellar red men, so white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Now, that's not to say the universe won't be lit up at all, however. If white dwarfs or neutron stars collide, they could make supernova explosions or make new stars that live for a few million years. Regardless, the universe will see a very dark and cold place by this period. Galaxies will either eject all their stars or fall into their central black hole, so, and uh, the star amendments will slowly dim until they're pitch black, but it gets even bleaker. Eventually, in about 10 to the 34 years, or one followed by 34 zeros, protons will start to decay. For those not in the know, Protons are essential. Without them, matter as we know it wouldn't exist. That time scale that I listed is the proton's estimated half-life. That is, the estimated time it'll take for half of all protons to decay. Uh, the process will repeat over and over again, with proton counts being slashed in half every 10 to the 34 years until none remain. No more stellar rendement. Uh, that is expected to happen in about 10 to the 40 years, and after that point, matter will cease to exist. No more stellar remnants, no more planets, only black holes and electrons will remain. Fortunately, proton decay is still unproven, and might not even exist. Uh, in that case, so, the universe will take a completely different path that I might cover in a future video. For now, let's assume protons decay and matter disappears. Uh, after this point, we will enter the black hole era, named because black holes will be the only big things left. However, even black holes will disappear. With no more mass to feed them, they will slowly evaporate over long time scales. A black hole the mass of the sun will take 10 to the 66 years to evaporate into nothingness. Super massive black holes will take even longer, with the most massive one as estimated to evaporate in a Google years. That is, one followed by a hundred zeros. When each one disappears, they will disappear in a burst of energy, briefly lighting up the universe around it. Eventually, the last one will disappear in a flash of light, and then the aptly named Dark Era will begin, where things are perpetually dark and temperatures near absolute zero. To be fair, the universe will be a complete void. Electrons and other elementary particles will roam the universe, almost never coming into contact with one another due to the universe's extreme expansion, and will remain this way for virtually forever. But why virtually? Well, this is where things get interesting. Using some complicated quantum physics and a ton of luck, the universe will undergo another big bang, starting the cycle all over again. This will probably take a very, very, very long time. Uh, a period of time so long that there is not enough storage space on the entire planet to represent all the zeros in it. However, chances are, it will eventually happen. Okay, this might have caused a little bit of an internal crisis in your head. I mean, we cannot comprehend literally nothing those extreme time scales, and whatnot. Again, however, this will take trillions of years before the process even starts to happen, and much longer before it ends. So relax, you won't even see it happening. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I would appreciate with like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks, and have a great day.